Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to EGL9. We're going to get underway very shortly with Curse versus Prophecy. I am, of course, Bryce, and joining me on the main stage right now is, of course, Benson. How you doing, bro? I'm good. You know what? Let's talk a little bit about that last game. TCM versus Prophecy. Yeah. It was a bit of a shock result, if I'm honest. A bit I of a shock? People, <laughs> a lot of people might not know this if you are kind of new to this kind of thing. They actually have like a mental block against Prophecy. That's the biggest shock here. Yes. They call it the cursed against Prophecy. Every time they play them, they lose. They do. And they, they've just the broken first, that this in spectacular fashion. the first time fashion. they've actually won at line. Spectacular fashion. 3-0. They made it look so easy as well. I mean, well, they seem, like, I've never seen Jake that happy coming off the stage. <laughs> <laughs> well, Jake is renowned for being cursed in the community, never actually winning line. Well, of course. This could be his time. This could be his time to shine. From what I hear, because I was actually on the uh, feature stage for a while, yeah. talk, talk me through how that game kind of went, because I said 3 0. Is that how easy it was? The, you know, the hard point game, the first one was 250 to 204. A, li a little close, but you could kind of see it was going TCM's way. They had that momentum all throughout. Mm -hmm. Then the SD was 6 3, TCM's favourite. Well, TCM do have a great. S and D game. They do. They and it's right, in fairness, their hard point game was kind of their weak point. It was. They, and they, they, seem to have turned that, they seem to have turned it around quite a lot. And then obviously CTF 3 1 in, in favour of TCM. And, and we were actually talking just before we actually went live. You know, Flux actually switching it up now. So it's becoming that more of an SMG role. And it seemed to work. I mean, Jake, with the support in the SMG, I mean, he was just getting kills for days. Well, supporting with that. I have said this time and time again Jake, such an amazing player. Oh, he really is. He really, he really is. is. The slang player he has in his Black Ops 2, you cannot deny him such a great player. And you know what? I spoke to the guys a little bit before. They said what they figured wasn't working so much is, is how Rich and Monksy were interacting with the two ARs. Yeah. So what they've actually done is gone, Rich, we want you as anchor. We know how good you are at it. Monksy, can you SMG a little bit more? Try to get us a bit more momentum in the fall. And you know what? From what I hear, Monksy went in on he that did. hard point. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's definitely one definition. He, and you know what? So they've, they, so in well. a week, they've changed it up. Completely, and, and they really have. It looked a completely different lineup. The, the one that played, obviously, Prophecy just well, a week ago. From what you were telling me, less than seven days ago, they the were getting were hyped. Playing. They were shouting. Uh, yeah, TCM known for being a very quiet team, and then you know, out of nowhere, just sort of you know, getting hyped. You know, shouting, "Let's go!" A few, a few big kills being made. But obviously, up next we have Prof versus Curse. Now, Curse, you know, they've got a relatively high seed, but yet still people are considering them to be a bit of a sort of dark horse in this because not a lot of teams have actually scrimmed against Curse and they played very well no, against Horizon. No, this is what we were talking about before. They've kind of just been in the background. I they mean, have. Awesome lineup, but they kind of, they've kind of been like, you know what, we're just going to lay low. We're not in Cologne. We're not coming to our series. EGL, we've been practicing. We're going to really show you what we can do. Yeah. And, you know, they have ex-EGL winners in their lineup. They do. They do. I mean, Bizzle, you know, he's been looking so strong in all the games in preparation for his Call of Duty Championship trip to LA in mm -hmm. less than a week's time. He's been getting that grind on. He's been playing so, so well. I actually had a, a cheeky look when they were playing Horizon earlier on, and they, they did manage to win that in comfortable fashion. Um, they definitely are a team that we need to keep our eyes out for. But, I mean, you know, coming up against Prophecy now... So th this is the question I really want to ask tough. about Prophecy, because I didn't see it. Is it a case of TCM have stepped their game up to another level, or is it a case of... Prophecy had a bad series of games. I think, if, I, if I'm going to be completely fair, I think it's a mixture of both. I think it'd be too unfair to say, you know, that was just down to Prophecy not playing well because you're not giving TCM credit. I mean, TCM came out 3-0 Prof. But you look at the Prophecy lineup set to our right, that, that's a God squad. That's, that's exactly it what is it is. God, it, it is, is, it is, it is, is a God, God squad. squad. So you can, you can never really say that. But at the same time, you know, it wasn't all on TCM. There were definite mistakes being made by Prophecy at times. And if they were to eliminate them out, we're going to see a very, very close game. But I mean, what, what I've really been talking about, especially in that last game with Tun, was, you know, Frico Impact going 3-2 against I wanted to bring this up because it seems to be the sort of weekend of shocks. A little bit. I mean, I, I did say they, they played a map that they don't actually play over in the MLG rules. They, they were playing um, Hardpoint on Express, something they're not quite used to. So you kind of, you can you can accept that they would drop that, but then dropping S&D. You know what? I wouldn't even accept that. We're talking about a team that come over here yesterday and they were sitting, talking to a lot of us in the bar. And they were so confident that they would walk this event. They were. They were. They just had an incredible run at Dallas. They did. They were so confident. Very true. Very true. Very true. But, I mean, it is worth mentioning, obviously, we are only at day one. This is only the pool play. So this is to decide yeah. exactly where the teams are going to face. If you're going to make a mistake, game. if you're going to yeah, have a bad well game, do, do it of course, today. Of course. And, I mean, you know, obvious questions with the American team coming over to, to Blackpool is going to be jet lag, you know, tiredness, just things like that. So... It, they need to get it out of the system now so mm -hmm. they don't do it tomorrow or the day after. Of course. I mean, first of all, Parasite was the one who wanted to come over. His teammates were saying, he kind of bullied us over here. <laughs> we want them. But he is so determined. <laughs> he wants to, to not win everything. After Dallas, after Dallas, they went, you know what? We're on a roll. Let's stay hot. Keep it going. Let's go to EGL. He wants to win that, and then he wants to go to LA and take home that big prize and sort of Fair cement himself as, you know, one of the, the best great. Yeah. 
Definitely. I mean, they're actually going to be going ahead and playing, I believe, is it Cloud right now? Yes, they will actually now, be on the... See, that's an interesting game for me because we really get to see just how tested they're going to be. Cloud, fantastic team. Obviously, iSeries, Josh not having the best of the lands, I think it's fair to say. He was... There were flashes of the old Josh in that last game. I Good. saw it, and it was great when he brought it off, but he's still struggling. In is my he? opinion, he's still struggling. He's still not putting in the performances okay. he needs to. Okay. He went massively negative on a couple of the maps. Really? And okay. I'm sort of sitting there and I'm going, this isn't good because Josh, they were not happy with Josh's performance at I-Series. Oh, of course They, they made no secret of that it was, fact. it was James Bond. Yes. 007's all over the He point. almost had a similar thing go on in the S&D, the last I one. I heard that, yeah. And then he managed to come back and, and he did a little bit of the business and, and they won. Good, good. But is he going to be able to step this game up? I mean, Impact are a different kettle of fish. If, it, if there's ever a game that you need to get hyped for and a bit hyper for, yeah. it's going to be that game because that is really one of those situations where you win that game and everyone in the US is going to be, you know, saying, wow, you know, Impact, <laughs> he dropped two maps and there's a European team here that's managed to just take them down. So, Well, I know there's, there's an, an awful lot of them. Americans watching this right now, hoping yep. to catch a, a glimpse of this Farrako Impact team. Like I said, they are hyped. That, like I said, if they're going to have a mistake or a bad run, today is today the day to do it. it. Yeah. So you can never, you can't say, oh, this team's going to be down. Like, we, like, for example, Prophecy, we can't say just because they lost that first game, that's them down and out for the count. No, it, of course it, not. Most definitely not. This is just a pool stage. You know, making a mistake against TCM now is a lot better than doing it tomorrow, where of it course. could potentially knock them down to lose the bracket. However, like I said, you cannot take anything away from TCM. That was a fantastic performance. They've broken that curse. So, you know, breaking one broke curse. Broke in spectacular can, fashion. Can they break Jake's Can they break curse? the, That's the Jake question. curse? Can they break the Jake curse? For any of you that don't know Jake, never actually being able to win a LAN. He's played second in a lot, but... He's, he's, he's won a PS3 seen. LAN that nobody that counts. That doesn't count. That, nobody uh, counts. We, we, don't, we don't count that. We don't count that. I believe the we've just got the thumbs up there from Tommy, so we should be ready to go any second now. I think the game is actually going to start. But it's, it's one of these things, Benson. TCM... They now look like they're back because everybody's been writing them off. The entire yeah, everybody's running going, you enough. know what? They're not even in the top my top three. They're not even in my top five. They're not good enough. And then <laughs> to come around and, and basically take down the favourites, apart from maybe Impact, people are now going, hold on a minute. What's what has changed it? in a week? It was a remarkable difference. It really was. It just did not look like the same TCM we saw last week. They they really looked a lot lot different. And oh. Uh, I see what's happened here. There it, was, it, was that, it was that glitch, wasn't it? It was entirely the glitch, and I believe we are about to start here. 